Well, good morning, day three, and new camera day today. I thought I'll try this out because I'm fed up with using my phone and trying to film and go around like that. So I've got a little action cam. We'll see how it goes, isn't it? Um, welcome to part two of uh, of the bridge build scene. Right, so I'll, I've got a base made out here now. Uh, obviously, this is going to again sit on there like that. Um, I'm now going to try and cut a bit of a channel out here. My idea being, um, I'll use a hairdryer which will melt a channel into there. See, uh, I'm hoping it's working. A heat gun is better, but I haven't got a heat gun, and I borrowed a friend's hairdryer. Let's see if see if uh, see if it works. So um, yeah, so today's task is do the channel, um, and maybe add a bit of. Sculpt a mould, get a bit of a shape going there, and then uh, oh, I've still got to finish the lines off on this on these yet, which is the same as there, obviously. Um, then we should get a base coat to put on it today, and uh, see how we get on, eh? Okay, well the air dryer technique doesn't work; it's um, not quite hot enough. Um, but when it does get hot enough, it cuts out. Um, obviously overheating so I think in the future I'm going to have to invest in, uh, in a heat gun so my alternative now is I'm cutting the channels out as you can see where the model's going to be sat so at least that's inside and then I don't have to scoop out as much along here maybe cut that out with a spoon or something and then I've got less to build up then with the sculptor mould luckily because I use PVA um, and I put it on flat um, it's quite easy to, to, to take off because with, with PVA uh, it, it's air curable um, so it needs a gap underneath if you like to dry it um, as I spread it out flat the air hasn't got to it and it was still wet so it, it's it's, um, it's coming up quite easy luckily for me as you can see so that's a lesson for anybody using PVA to stick this down I believe Gorilla Glue um, the water activated is probably the best to use for this um, don't use super glue whatever you do on this stuff because it just melts it uh, PVA is fine I suppose if I sort of do it like that quite thick so it has a gap but then of course when you put the weight on and you squash it it goes like that so again it's so yeah I'm going to invest in some uh, proper glue for this um, well, it's coming up easy enough so it's not a problem it might actually work out better this way anyway Yeah, that's uh, yeah, it's coming up a bit uh, easy that. Let's uh, get the knife under there. Easy enough that. See what I mean about the glue? Now that had about four kilos of weight stuck on that yesterday and it's been left overnight. And again, because there's no air there, it hasn't cured. So there's a lesson I've I've learnt already this morning. So yeah, so this will now, hopefully, sit in that channel like so. So there's less to build up now. Yeah, that's worked out great. 
Right, so I've, I've uh, I cut the channels out now. Um, I'm just smoothing off, making it a bit tidier, ready for putting the sculpture mould in there then. It should, hopefully, it should hopefully turn out okay, I think, now. Um, I was a bit worried as I was cutting it, but I think it's going to be alright. back to you in a minute okay um, I've got the basic shape for the channels out now so what I'm uh, I'm just doing now is I'm just putting a bit of a just a light film of a PVA um, it's more to seal it than anything before I put the uh, sculpture mold up we've got a big sticky piece here <laughs> um, yeah so it just gives uh, the sculptor mould, um, something to, to grab onto when I put it on, and, and as I said earlier on in the video, PVA is air drying only, it's no good unless any air circulates, so by doing this, um, I'm hoping it's going to help to keep these stuck down as well, because it's getting underneath the edges everywhere, um, yeah, it just gives me a bit of a better chance for it all to stay, uh, stay stuck and also when I come to put the uh, the water resin down I put a seal there down on the edges so it doesn't um, seep out anywhere um, I've never used the, the resin stuff for water um, and I haven't really got a lot of it anyway let me see it's uh, I'll be using uh, water texture acrylic still water this is uh, it's only 200 mils I don't think it's going to be enough to, to cover the depth that I want um, so I'll see how this goes and if I've got to get some more I've got to get some more but, uh, I'll do this and we can leave it to dry for an hour and, I'll, and then uh, get the sculpture mould mixed and get messy I'll do for now. Um, we'll have a cup of tea. I knew the air dryer would come in handy. Um, try and air dry it a little bit better. Help it cure a bit faster, hopefully. I borrowed this hair dryer um obvious reasons. I don't need it, do I really? <laughs> anyway, I'll get back to this and I'll get back to you in a bit. Okay, it's time for some messy fun. Um this is what I use, sculpture mould, which most of you all know what it is. Um it's not as uh, it's not as messy and powdery as uh plaster of Paris and it's quite workable as well it's, it's, it's not bad it comes as like a like a like a cotton type material you know and just put it in there what you need something to mix it with a bit of water it dries pretty quick as well this so you've got to work with it quick you know and slap it all over and 
nice and gloopy. Yeah, it's nice stuff to work with this. You can see it's quite easy to uh, to use. It's not too messy, but again, like I said you've got to work with it pretty quick. I think you've got what ten minutes with it. Spread it all in there now and right, I'll crack on with this and I'll get back to you now when I've uh, I've done. Okay, that's the uh cast on there done now so we've got the channel there for the for the river I'll let that cure now for a few hours um, I think what I'll do now is, is get a base coat on this especially underneath because once it's uh, down on there I won't be able to paint under there properly so Yes, uh, making progress. It's took quite a, quite a long time really to do this today. So, yeah, let's hope it turns out all right. Uh, right, let's make some room. I think. And uh, let's get a base coat going. I think. Okay, let's, uh, let's get a base coat going. With the black as well, what it does, it gets in between uh, all the brickwork and um, when you come to put the lighter coats on it, it makes the, the brick stand out a bit more and, uh, and, and black is just generally a good, a good uh, base coat coverage, and, uh, especially going over the plaster and stuff. You know when I've uh, when I've done this. Right. I see black base coat done there now. On that anyway. That's took a, a good a good hour to do that. It's soaking. But uh, right. So that can go to one side for now and I can do that tomorrow, which will be day four. Um, right then. Next thing to do, excuse your music by the way, but I like painting and uh, we've got a bit, a bit of Pink Floyd on. Um, okay, this is drying now. So I'm gonna put a brown base coat now on this. Um, and then all I can do now is, is, is leave it all overnight until uh, until the morning. Yeah, let's see how we get on. Right, well that's the brown base done. I haven't done the shading or anything yet. It's uh, it's just to get rid of the white. But um, I've got two tones of brown there. 
the middle of the the lake, uh, the lake, the river. I'll do a dark shade to give the impression of it being deep water, and then just blend up different colours of browns and beiges, even sand. And you know, I, I may even do sandbanks on the edges there, or keep it as, as mud. Um, I don't know yet. But for now, I've got to leave this to dry overnight now because the sculptor mold was still a bit damp. Um, and by adding uh, the liquid acrylic paint on there now, it's, it's obviously going to slow the uh, the curing process down. So, but at least the main thing, I've got the base coat done on the bridge. So that's done, and the base coat is on there. So I think. Um, or day, I'm on day three. I don't know where I'm up to. Must be day th day three, which is this is part two. I think we have to leave it there now until uh, tomorrow morning, which will be day five. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with the results of what I've done today. So I think I'm going to chill out now and listen to a bit more Pink Floyd, and I'll and I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.